What an amazing luck, Professor! The news just said ideal pizza's prices have sharply declined. I was just in the mood for some pizza, and look, there's an ideal pizza outlet right there. <laughs> no, no, Supandi. They are not talking about the price of the pizzas. They are talking about the share price of the company. But I don't want to share my pizza, and even if I did, how can they charge me for that? Oh, Supandi. They are talking about shares, as in the share market. When you want to invest your money, you can either invest in the share market or the debt market. Huh? Share? Debt? What do these markets have to do with pizzas? Let me explain, Subandi. A share is a unit of ownership in a company that is traded on the stock exchange. As an investor, you have the option of buying and selling these shares. If you buy shares in a particular company which grows and makes a profit, the value of your shares goes up and you get a part of the profits of the company. It's like owning a small part of the company. Supandi! Supandi! Uh, uh, oh, uh, sorry, Professor. Uh, I was just thinking that if I buy up all the shares of Ideal Pizza, then it would be mine and I could get a lifetime supply of free pizzas. How great would that be? Keep in mind, Supandi, that if Ideal Pizzas were to make losses tomorrow, you will have to share that as well. The problem with the share market is that while you get better returns, your risk is also that much higher. Ideally, you need to be a specialist to invest in equities directly. Mm, a specialist? Uh, my last boss told me I specialize in messing things up. Uh, professor, I'd much rather invest in something safer. I would suggest you follow the age-old adage and not put all your eggs in one basket and spread your risk. That's why you should look at debt funds as well. Debt funds? Now what are those? Debt funds consist of fixed income instruments like bonds, government deposits, large corporate deposits and so on that come with a much lower risk factor. However, your returns will be lower as compared to equity investments. Um, uh, Professor, uh, isn't there a way that my investments could get uh, better returns, uh, but at uh, lower risk? That's where mutual funds come in, Supandi. With mutual funds, you can balance your investments between equity and debt, which could possibly get you better returns with a lower risk factor. You can also talk to a financial advisor or go online to learn more about them. In that case, I'm going to go online immediately. <laughs> hey, but what about your pizza? <laughs> Later, Professor. Once I invest in mutual funds, I can afford to have all the pizza I want. Oh, it's a fun day. Mutual fund investments are subject to market risks. Read all scheme-related documents carefully.